class three. This is course one. Got four wheel steer. The big thing in class three is you got to get a radio that makes your rear wheel or your four wheel steer smooth, however you like to do it, whether you want to mix it, whether you want to make it an independent channel, whether you want to micro it. However, it just needs to be smooth and fluid to where you can use it. So I'm going to crab walk through that one and then I adjust the rear steering to where I'm just I'll make it a tight circle, line myself up for gate two. And again, just a nice, slow, fluid transition and drop off of that big ledge through gate two, coming up to gate three. And I kind of screwed this up a little bit and actually uh, got a gate here. So I should have turned my four wheel steer into it and kind of crab walked. And I do it a little bit, but then I get away from it. I should have let my rear end get up over that ledge. And you can see it's going to pop up here in a minute. Now I'm running a 515 um, pit bull tire here. And I just, I should have kept it up just a little bit more, but the rear passenger fell off the ledge. And then I tried to stick through it and actually got that gate. Um, didn't have to take the rollover, but I did get the gate penalty. And then now I got to get myself out of this tricky situation. Um, the truck is narrowed, but it again is on AR 45s from Triel. So I got real good steering front and rear. So I get myself back into position and I take the gate a second time and I take it a little bit better, but I still struggle up over this ledge. I should have taken it a little deeper into the rock there on the driver's side. But I'll let my front in there. You can see some of that steering angle on the uh, Trio 45. Pretty tight um, considering the offset on the wheels. And again, I get my rear end up. And I'm a little better. So I should have done this the first time. Stayed closer to that ball. And I fall just a bit there. I think I recover here if I'm not mistaken. And get back up on the ledge with the rear passenger and then you just got to know which way you're going with your full wheel steel nice and slow and deliberate there and actually clear that inside gate the drop off to four a little technical again just slow nice fluid with the throttle and then i want to go back down to where where the folks are standing I get hung up a little bit here on my skid, so I got to do a little wiggle. And just again, nice and slow over that big drop and down back on the flat ground. I'm going to come right back up here. You have to come up this ledge. I want to say this is five. Yep. So kind of straightforward here. And then once you get the front end up, you just want to get that rear to catch. Turn into it. And four wheel steer. And then I'm going to go. I got to take a reverse here because I'm sliding just a little bit. The rear end's pushing. I do have overdrive in the front. It's all through the um, portal gears, not the transmission. The transmission is a TGH uh, forward motor mount. And it is. Uh, zero overdrive through the transmission. Again, get a little hung up on the skid there, take out the local shrubbery, but I'm right back down to the bottom. Again, nice transition here. Nothing real technical about the transitions. The big thing is you just have to be fluid off of them with even throttle control. I'm going to come all the way to the bottom, take a big turn, and I'm going to go right back up toward gate five, but instead of going left, I'm going to go right, and you can see gate six there on the right. And I got up over the rock much easier this time. Um, I think, maybe not. Well, a little bit easier. Got a four-wheel steer it, get it around to where I'm making that tight corner. A little bump up 
over the um, apex of the ledge there coming up into six and again just I'm trusting the pit bull tires here that they're going to climb I just want to make sure that that rear end doesn't push me I take a little wiggle to get me back down um, so I don't burn a reverse point because remember I've already taken the gate so I'm a little bit behind here big turn four wheel steer really helps here to get myself outside to uh, come back up through seven Again, plenty of room, running a little bit narrower than what a lot of folks do in Class 3 with the uh, AR-45s from Trio. Now, the, the down here, I'm going to take a big turn. I'm going to crab walk it out toward the edge a little bit and take a big turn. And it came down a little bit different where a lot of folks came down closer to the left where my foot is there. And they were getting themselves pinned up against the big rock. So I'm running about a 13-inch wheelbase here. So again, just nice, slow, controlled descent where I didn't have the um, ability to get myself pinned up against that big rock where I would have to take a reverse or where I could damage something or knock something off of the body. Eight's pretty straightforward. A little bit of turn and grip there in the rear end, and she walks right off. Big turn here using the four wheel steer to get myself around. Straight off a nine. Again, a pretty, not a huge drop. It's got a little bit of lip to it. Straight down through nine. I'm going to go around the judge here. Ten was a little rounded off. Um, basically, speed bump. There you go, Jeremy Kilborn. Um, come up through ten. Get the front end to hook up, crab walk it a little bit to get my butt uh, rear end up, and then just use the four-wheel steer and come right through the gate. Hope it helps. Talk with you guys later.